Hey guys, we're wrapping up a week here in Washington, D.C., and we've got a lot of phone calls and a lot of opinions about the border, especially the border bill. And I, I just, I have a hard time people telling me that I shouldn't vote for this when no one's read the bill. And I'm not trying to be condescending here. I'm just being real serious. We're making a decision on a bill that we haven't read. Now, we get mad at people for voting for a bill that they haven't read, and we're making a decision based on a bill that we haven't read. So what is the goal of the border? Listen, does there really need to be any border bill to begin with? I mean, if you're really talking about shutting down the border, if that's what you want to do, well, then no, actually there's not. President Biden could do that immediately, I guess, if he chose to. He could simply reverse the, uh, the, the disastrous decision he made by overturning the executive orders that President uh, uh, Trump had in place. But he chose not to. Instead, he chose to open the border wide open. So what are we left with? What do we have to get accomplished? Where is it that we're looking for a win here? Well, what we need to do is, one, we need to change the asylum rules. So if Biden isn't going to take the action, then there needs to be legislation to take action to say the asylum process to which the drug cartels are literally taken advantage of by saying magic words and we're immediately allowing the people in the country, we need to, as legislators, change that. So we need to change the policy for asylum. Another one we have to do, we have to change the parole process. What I mean by that is when individuals come across the border right now, they say the magic words, the Biden administration is paroling 85% of them immediately, immediately, within 24 hours, saying, yes, okay, we believe your story. Even though we know they're taking advantage of it, and we're we'll we'll parole them, give them a piece of paper, and tell them to show up in six to eight years to a court date to which they'll never show up for. So the parole process has to change. Another thing is we got to make sure we have meaningful, uh, meaningful uh, language that stems the flow of individuals crossing it, which you change the asylum process, you change the pro process, then that's probably gonna mean you're gonna stem the flow of the people coming across it too because they can't say the magic words anymore. So the things that we're looking for, as I would say the three pillars in the border bill is one, it's gotta stem the flow, two, it's gotta change the asylum process, and three, it has to change the pro process. If it does those three things, guys, that's a win for us. If it doesn't, it's a non-starter. But for any of us to make a decision yet, and none of us, including myself, has read the bill, it's kind of putting the cart before the horse. Guys, I do my best to represent you, but it's also my job to be informed. So thank you for this opportunity. May God bless you, and may God bless the United States of America.